How's it going guys? This is Ryo Murata, photographer based in Tokyo. Another random review overview of a product that I recently found. So what is it? So when I purchase any kind of photography related products, I basically wait if that cost of the item is worth paying for. You just basically calculate if that you know product that you purchase, whether or not if it's like a camera will pay off in the long run. So yeah. So in today's video, I'd like to sort of like talk about this weird iconic like product made by Kodak. This is sort of like a film canister, case enclosure, I don't know what you guys would call it, for the 35mm film, which holds up to five films. A rather unusual product. I saw this on a Kickstarter campaign or something, kind of crowdfunding campaign that Kodak would be giving out the or bringing out this like 135 35 mil like film canister and it, they were like planning on like making this in a bit different like varieties of colors like I myself never trusted this kickstart these like kickstarter crowdfunding like campaigns since in most cases they fail and when they fail the money that you put forth never comes back to you you know so I just waited if they would officially release this product. So, and also you have to take into account that of this like pandemics that they might not ship the product. So there's that double risk going on. So I basically waited out until this like official release came out to the public. So when they officially released this canister in Japan, I took my time and did not buy the first run because you guys know I shoot with medium format films and I never seldom shoot with 35mm but recently I had an opportunity to shoot with a 35mm film made by Lomochrome Lomography Metropolis the yellow green like box that you see and it's everywhere you know making that video hopefully I can make that video sometime in the near future and when you check their online website they have a lot of color varieties. They come in red, yellow, blue, yellow, green, yellow, matte black, and sandblasted silver, if I'm right. And I went ahead and got the red and yellow version, the classic Kodak color, obviously. And yeah, in experiencing like shooting with 35 mil, I started to realize the benefits of shooting with 35 mil because what you get is compared to medium format, you get a smaller camera, smaller camera body, easy to maneuver. You get lots of shots and lots of benefits. Well, and sacrificing that, you know, resolution, but I started to enjoy 35 mil format and I thought it made sense to make that purchase. So I just went ahead and went to a local like camera store and like purchased that. Okay, so after getting this product, opening it up, checking it, checking the inside and whatnot, you know, I realized that there's some kind of weight to this product and it, to me, it's not like one of those products where you would like to like bring it out to shooting locations outside, outdoors, because that weight adds up in the long run and it's like more of a product where you will want to like stick it in your freezer or fridge, which I highly recommend don't stick it in the freezer because it's a metal construction. You'll get like frostbites if you stick it in the freezer. So it's like more like you just st store away in your fridge long term and just forget about it. Don't forget about it, but something like that. So the pros of having this like container, one is that you can stick up to five films, five rolls of films in here perfectly aligned. And the inner like separation like part you can actually remove if you don't like it so you can actually use this as a different like organizing you can stick in pens you can stick in pencils it could be a pencil case actually if you remove the inner like separation plastic so that's like something great to like notice while using this container and another great thing that i realized is that by sticking this like vivid color like container in your fridge it makes that area look nicer because if you have like you know lots of films in your like fridge it doesn't look that great you know in most cases but if you have like one of these like sticking out poking its head you know, out you know it just looks it makes you feel really good it looks hip it looks retro it looks like the embodiment of the kodak eastman logo printed embodied on its body just say that 
Of course. So another thing that I like about this container is on one side it has, I guess, the newest like Eastman Kodak logo. When we flip it over, it has the old Kodak logo. So that looks pretty nice in my eyes. Okay, so now for the downsides of this uh, product. It's honestly really expensive. It's like $25. In Japan, it was like $28 roughly so it is on the expensive side and truth be told this is how companies like make money by selling their brands at a markup and by making their products at a cheaper price and like charging more for their customers they basically make that you know profit difference but i honestly think if it's like something you use every day in my case like storing films i do that every day you know in the fridge and if it's like it's like in my eyes, it looks, it makes sense for me to purchase this because you're basically separating the location of your media format films with your 35. So I won't get messed up in that, you know, process, like trying to search where the hell did I stick my 35 mil films in. And in most cases, you don't have to do that. You can basically store most of your films in these like plastic containers and your, in most cases, these come free once you purchase a 135 mil film. So, I mean, this is basically the most cost e cost efficient way of storing film. But like for someone like me who almost never shoots with a 35 mil, I guess I would rather stick it in somewhere in the exact same location and just store it for the opportunity to shoot out go out and shoot downside for some people is that probably if you shoot with 35 you probably have more than five rolls of films in your like fridge and that's where this problem hits most people because like this canister only holds up to five rolls and for me it's all right but for majority of people i think you guys have maybe like 10 rolls in your fridge so if you want to store those all your films in this container you had to buy two of these which would cost fifty dollars and it doesn't make any sense and it's like less productive to do that so like for some people like me who sometimes shoot with 35 i guess it's like worth it but in most cases it might not make sense for you guys so that's one thing downside number two that i found is the sound that it makes when you open this container it's like it's like opening a little like metal toy honestly if you do this at locations people will find you <laughs> like it ma it's makes this like how do you say it? it noisy sound of metal clashing <laughs> with each other it's like not the pleasant thing to hear when you're like going out and shoot and you're trying to like load your film into your camera and you have to do that twice right you have to open it up and you have to close it back in which makes another sound so that's not the pleasant thing to see, like hear most of the time so that's number two and i wish like they improved this i mean this is like where it gets iffy because if you're going on a location having a plastic case is much better because i mean you might drop it you might you know bang it somewhere and metal is not the best option to like carry your films in so it's a toss-up actually number three that i found <laughs> There's a lot of negatives I keep finding on these like products. So basically number three for the negatives is that basically you're sticking in your 35 mil film into the canister, the film itself. And you guys have to keep in mind that 35 film itself, the expiration date is written around the box. So in most cases, I guess you guys are like saving the boxes to keep that reminder that this film is going to expire at this date. Well, once you remove it from your, you know, plastic case and stick it into this container you like lose track of that expiration date so what you have to do is you have to write some kind of paper slip or some kind of sticker sticky note i guess so that eventually you'll forget when this film is going to expire so as a reminder you need to do that if you're thinking of like storing your film into this case so that's like another negative that i found using this case so i guess it's harder to manage like 35 mil films expiration date compared to medium format because medium format on the other hand has it written around the you know the wrapper and when you start shooting you basically rip the you know wrapper around and you're good to go for four about this case that i realized another negative is that because of its construction it's like metal stainless steel tin i don't know what 
material it is, but it if you stick it in a fridge, it's all right because it's rather cold. It's okay to touch, but when you stick this in the freezer, it's like touching a tripod during midwinter, like a metal tripod. And you guys who experience that, it's not the best thing to do. You know, you'll get frostbites. So it's not a pleasant way to touch this case because in a really cold environment, I mean, I wouldn't highly advise you guys to bring this out to like winter Arctic areas because you would definitely get a frostbite. And this is like sort of like negatives of this like container. And it's, and if you're going out, like I said, bring in, bring out some kind of plastic case because plastic basically doesn't, what, doesn't, it doesn't feel cold during cold environments compared to like metal cases. So yeah, that's all the negatives I could say so far. I guess Kodak worked hard to, to like bring this out into the official and the public and it's great to see something new coming along the way in the film industry. I mean, you never seen these like new products coming out. So it's great to note, you know, so basically considering the hefty price of $25 in most cases, you guys can like survive without that case and you're good to go with these like plastic case that comes in free once you purchase a new film and these like add up, you know, you get like hundreds, you get 200s in the long run. So I guess, like cost performance wise these are like the best cost performing like ways to store films but like if you're like person like me who rarely like shoots with 35 mil film i mean it made some sense to like purchase this but it's basically i just bought it for the aesthetics not the functions but i mean if there is a little bit of functionality of like storing and like keeping managing my films in one area in the fr in the fridge i guess it made sense to purchase this and I don't know, if I had a lot of money, I would have purchased all of the colors as a collection like viewpoint. But honestly, having just one might spice up your life and make your like photography life much better in some sense. So yeah. And if you're not into like metal construction cases, there's a alternative. There's a company called JCH Film Canister, which is made out of plastic that I just said, like plastic is much easier to manage, easier to like sort of like sort your films. And this one in particular is, I think you can store in like 10 films, 10, there's a 35 mil version and a 120 version that some, a lot of photographers use. So I think they are sort of like the alternative to this in a reasonable manner, reasonable pricing, if I'm right. It's, I think it's like maybe half the cost of the Kodaks. So. It's really nice to see some kind of alternative to that. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, leave it in the description. Leave it in the comments below, not the description. So yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace.